Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm doing a mukbang and that I made chicken alfredo with some broccoli. I have a side of garlic bread over there. And I'm gonna do a QA. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions you want me to answer. So yeah, let's get right to it. Future goals. Well, first off, I wanna graduate with my degree, get that bank, get that check, and then hopefully start a family soon after. During like this time, everything's just been so unpredictable. I don't wanna have anything set because anything could change last minute. That's that for now. I'm gonna get my degree. That's my goals. The only reason why I'm looking there is my friends asking me the question, so I'm just repeating it. So yeah, please, please excuse me looking over there. What's it like being away from home? It's sad, but my friends just make it better. So shout out to the crew. Y'all know who you are. But yeah, no, it's 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 a sacrifice um, that I'm willing to take. Woo! Okay, next question. Um, what do I do to calm my homesickness? I call them. <laughs> it's so good nowadays because you can like easily call them through like FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, and like you can always fly back home it's not too bad that's how i combat it and like obviously surrounding myself with good people eating i stress eat a lot <laughs> how do i stay motivated like i said surrounded by really good friends good people who motivate me my family put me back home and like i know what i want i want to i want to graduate i want to get that degree i want to help people hungry all the time i'm just kidding three words to describe myself I guess I'm getting funny at going. Thanks, guys! Um, my biggest achievement, probably getting into medical school. I thought it was going to be a dream that would never come true. You know that type of way? Like, when you're a kid, you're like, Oh my gosh, I wish I was a princess. Oh, I wish I was going to be a doctor. Like, I think that's my biggest accomplishment. When I got that letter of, that I was accepted into medical school, I, was, I literally cried. Like, I remember the day I was with my friends in, back home, and I literally cried. So, I think that's my biggest accomplishment so far. Married? <laughs> have my degree clinic open because re I'm really interested in dermatology so I hope to open up a clinic and I also hope to do like a medical drive back home to help those in need <laughs> favorite tv show definitely money heist money heist is my one of my tops and euphoria those two ooh, highly recommend go check them out sleep eat repeat and that's all she wrote I did it because it's my only option to do medicine. <laughs> I actually didn't. I didn't get accepted to do medicine back home because it's just really, it's really hard to get in. So I looked up how to get into medicine because that's what I really wanted to do. And then I saw there was a way to study abroad to do it. So, hmm. I don't regret anything because at the time that's what I wanted. You know. So I have no regrets, and I feel like I've become a better person. But at the end of the day, no, I do not have any regrets. And I love who I'm becoming. Self love. Best advice I received, actually two. From my mom, if others can do it, why can't you? Do you know what I mean? If others can do it, why can't you? My friend said to me one of the days when I was like really glum and upset about some stuff in my life. She was like, you don't owe anyone. At the end of the day, nobody pays your bills except you know, yourself or your family or whoever pays your bills. Shout out to you know who. What do I want to do for my 21st? <laughs> don't worry, check that vlog out in it. <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to see, honestly. I'm so excited. Favorite food? Ooh, probably like Filipino food. Honestly, like I love Filipino food. I have to be biased about that. If there was a dish, it would probably be correct, correct. It's like a peanut butter shoe with like oxtail. It's so delicious. Cindy Gang's like tamarind soup thing. It's so good. I freaking love mom's garlic butter shrimp. It's so delicious. So yeah, favorite food. When am I uploading next? Uh, this. This is what I'm uploading next. But my next one would probably be my 21st vlog. So check it out in a few days or whatever. That is a deep question. Hold up. I mean, I guess right now I'm still searching for the meaning. I'll have to get back to you on that one. That's actually a really good question. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't manage my expenses. Oh, I'm just kidding. I actually have like a budget app on my phone. It's called Money Manager. And whenever I get my allowances and stuff, I put that in there so I can clearly see. And every time I spend, I put that, I deduct it with my expenses. And I make like little marking, one part saving, one part shopping, one part groceries, restaurant, this and that. Like I make little sections. And so I can see overall how much I spend and how much I've saved so far. So yeah, Money Manager, download it.
as much as I can really uh, usually during the holidays so that's like Christmas, Easter and summertime go for it guys because at the end of the day it's a sacrifice if you really want to do it I say go for it it doesn't make you any less of a person if you study abroad or study in your own country you know at the end of the day you're going to get that degree and you're going to help other people and that's all that matters don't let anybody stop you what do I eat in a day? wait for that vlog how do I make time for friends? well right now I'm actually with them they actually helped me film this so thank you guys so much shout out to you know who but yeah during the weekends like we usually go out for some food just chat and chill at my gaff watch a movie and like usually even after a long day at school and we just need a breather because it is hard sometimes you can grab a coffee but yeah yeah i guess i mean there's not really much foreigners in bulgaria obviously the language so most of the time i communicate through google translate although i am learning I'm, I'm i'm slowly but surely learning and also like their yes and no are different so like if you like nod your head that means no and if you shake your head that means yes usually the younger generation know that when you mean yes yes but you have to phrase it that you're saying yes and not no favorite alcoholic drink a strawberry daiquiri i like cocktails that don't taste like alcohol favorite clothing brand slash store my stores are like fast fashion and i know like so much hate with that because it's really unethical and stuff like that i'm on a college budget guys like let's be honest like i if, if i could afford like all these brands i would but right now it's like i don't have the money for that bershka for sure zara sometimes if i could afford that stradivarius as well so those and primark pennies favorite place to eat out in ireland probably like the buffets there you can have so much variety and have anything you want here probably pizza america and venezia venezia have like this chicken broccoli pasta that mm. pizza america obviously they like pizza and they have these mozzarella sticks that are to die for oh and fat chef this sushi place girl y'all better get on it if you're from star zagora fat chef's words are if you're craving sushi i don't deal with toxic people don't get it i mean i just back off if i feel like the vibe is just not healthy for my mental health like why would i sacrifice that for people who just put me down all the time that's the key on that how do i stay organized i showed you in my in my bag video i have like the planner I write down whenever there's a topic going on and what i have to study for that favorite thing about med school right now since i'm in third year it's like the hospital it's when you like actually feel like you're a doctor like you're talking to the patient and you're interacting with them and it's like oh my gosh you have like so much responsibility yes i do believe everything happens for a reason i was literally telling my friends this the other day i was like girl this is happening because it's meant to happen you know like this year is a year i'm telling you now this year was a year of enlightenment when am i coming back to session with you girl don't worry don't worry i'm coming back soon I'm coming back soon lou i called him like yesterday and he was like ar, 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 ar. so he's good he's good and healthy and still barking and wagging his tail favorite ways to de-stress eat eat I have to be honest with you guys, I'm a pro at procrastinating. Like, if I could do anything the, the second before, I would, you know? I'm working on that. I'm only human, I'm not perfect. But, um, giving myself, like, an earlier deadline than the actual deadline. So, I'm prepared, like, a day, a few days before. So, yeah. I'm actually using my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, that's how, that's the camera I use. That's the end of it, guys. I have yet to finish all of this. I'm gonna eat it after this video is done. Thank you all for sending in your questions, and I hope after that them all, subscribe, like, share this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thanks again to my friends who helped me set this up. I wouldn't be filming this without you guys, so much love.